All right, back in the shop. Been uh, working since can't do anything else. Can't go to the store anywhere, but here are three of the finished cribbage boards that I have. Um, these strips here that I've got clamped are gonna be used for some cornhole boards. I just have them clamped down so they don't warp. Hopefully get to that either today or tomorrow. But here are the cribbage boards. All right, one, two, three, bing, bing, bing. This here has a cherry top, and uh, you turn the top, it's got a pivot pin right here, somewhere right there, and uh, you can open it up, get the cards, pigs, and start playing your, your game. Now, so what we've got here, these Wengi, and this is Cherry. Um, I put some shellac on these thinking that might be a, a good finish, but I was very disappointed with it. And you can probably see the kind of eggshell, uh, when, when you look at the sheen, you see the eggshell kind of finish to it. Now, I, I really don't like that. So rather than sanding them all down, I took some steel wool, some 4 aught steel wool, um, sanded it with the steel wood as, as, as much as I wanted to anyway just to kind of knock off the high edges of that. And then I brought it to the buffing wheels right there. And I spent a bunch of time buffing these things out to make them look nice and shiny. So that's what we've got. We've got shellac on the on the uh, the first coat. For, actually, I put like three or four coats of shellac, get it to, to soak in, and then uh, kind of put the steel wheel to it to knock off the, the high edges and then buffed it out. And I think they came out pretty good. It's a, it's a finished product, whatever it is. You don't like it, you don't have to buy it. But I wish you would. All right, so what happens is you turn the board like you saw, and it reveals the cards. The pegs will go in here. Actually, let me see. Let me bring you around over here. Uh, and I'll show you my stash of pegs in here. I get these pegs from... Lee Valley, Veritas, um, they're probably the classiest looking pegs I've ever seen. Um, so they kind of look like a, a barrel at the top and they fit these holes really nicely. Uh, there's, they're, they don't bottom out, of course you don't drill your hole shallow enough to make them bottom out, but um, I just like those pegs. So you have you have the black, and then you have uh, let's see which one of these. Okay, spill them all over the place. You have the black, you have the brass, and then there's a um, silver. So you have three rows, and you can play your game. And the the pegs when you're done, pegs go into this recess. There's actually nine pegs in there because you have two that run your board. And then if you're playing a uh, series of games, then this that's what these holes are for. You can mark your progress left to right, right to left, whatever. First one, two, I guess nine or ten wins the series. So there'll be nine pegs in here when it's done. So you have, again, you have Cherry, Wengi, or Wengi, whatever they call it. This is Goncalo Alves or uh, Zebra Wood. Um, see that little snap action there? That's pretty cool. I like that. So that's board number two. I actually like the way that turned out. I like that wood. That's really snazzy wood. I've got some, uh, I got a bunch more of that for the, for the other pegs, uh, the other boards. Sorry. So this one here, it's a little, little different, but this one here. Uh, I've taken it apart so you can see that you have your pivot pin here. This hole actually drops onto that pivot pin. I'll try to do that later. And then you've got these um, rare earth magnets, very strong magnets. So when the magnets engage, that's what creates that snapping action. And let's see if I can get this to, to go on straight with one hand. All right, 
it's recommended that you don't drop it straight on, otherwise those magnets might attach and they might come out of the hole. I haven't found anything that's foolproof as far as holding those mag magnets in place. But So here you have your board. You open it up, snaps open, get your cards, get your pegs, and then when you're ready to play, you turn it, and you probably didn't, there you go. It snaps in place, All right? Play your game, open it up, put your pegs and cards away, bang, closed. And those magnets hold this together really good. So, and this one is oak. And then finally, on the back side, you have that little uh, keyhole routed into it. So you can take this board and hang it on a wall and you can admire that while you're not playing. Yeah, everybody in the room sitting there admiring this board and it's not even being used. So anyway, those are the boards. Three. I've got uh, seven more that I'm going to start working on soon. I've got another project that I want to take care of here before I do that. But told you I'd show you the finished product. Here they are. Cherry, zebra wood, oak with all the same base to them well if you have any questions you pop them in the in the comments like subscribe and support the channel share share what you've seen here and uh i'm not selling these at the moment i'm building up a an inventory because i hope to be able to go to some craft fairs this summer <laughs> If they ever let us out of the house, which is, I guess I shouldn't get started on that because I probably don't want to hear what I have to say. Anyway, so here you go. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, question, whatever, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Have a good day and thank you for watching.